It's called slap fighting, an emerging sport in which opponents take turns slapping each other into oblivion. It's generating excitement and controversy in equal measure, with some asking serious questions about the risk competitors are exposing themselves to. Despite the risks, there's no shortage of people willing to take part or spectators ready to cheer them on. If you're not a fan of violence, it's probably best to turn away now. There were certainly moments when I did. Many of his neighbours are at church, but Johan Janssen van Vieren's mind is elsewhere. He's gearing up for a contest of strength and endurance. He's hoping to hit the big time in the latest global combat sports phenomenon. As controversial as it is captivating, slap fighting is watched by an audience of millions. And we're taking you into the heat of the action. Yes, sir. Try my club, skip my brain on my corp, I slap my skier on. I get for a woman like that, I see. Former boxer and martial arts champion, Donny van Heerde. I think South Africa is the only country that definitely know how to give up club. <laughs> and one of the main pioneers, Achisanang Ramarutsi. Once the slap goes in, it, it's universal. You know that guy got slapped. You know he's in pain. Who's he going to handle that? Slap fighting is a combat sport. Two combatants take turns to slap each other in the face with an open hand. The objective is to deliver a massive snot club or blow to your opponent's unprotected head that leaves them unconscious. It started as a viral phenomenon in Russia around 2019, attracting both men and women. It's a brand new sport. So most competitors have a former life. Okay, so who would you go from box to power slapping? If my pal on TikTok at the end of my say, Johan, I get to open hands what on track it by slap fighting. Yeah, he's a boxer, so come clap me. And to say for me, let's mal. We clap my car. And I eventually to go and answer. Okay, I'm gonna do as a bucket list. Clap back to the first hour and sit off it for what I was cocking in Bria with a good clap. Today, Johan is on the draw card for a big event on the SA Slap Fighting Association calendar, Thunderstruck. He's up against Sean Noisy Boy Harber, who has lost all four of his previous fights, but is still hooked on the sport. How good think you is mensen so gefascineerd in this sport? Kijk, in boxing and MMA is a lot of skill and lot training involved. So, you have to learn how shots to, to push. He so, gaan sign you for a hour and you say for him, give me your best shot. I'm going to fight and I'm going to give my best here. While Johan and Sean prepare backstage, Donnie van Jirden explains the rules to the audience. So keep in mind, no palm strike, no cupping, no fingers back. The rules are quite simple. They are judges, paramedics and body catchers. No slaps to the temple, neck or under the jaw. No flinching or ducking. And you get 60 seconds to recover. You guys, good luck. Sportsmanship. Let's see it. We're on Cote Blanche. He's a great boxer. He comes from a family of very good boxers. Donnie's father was a professional boxer and he coached his son in the ring. Donnie competed in various martial arts for 11 years, but he made his slap fighting debut two years ago. First slap floored his opponent. I slapped him KO and then I'm hooked. His second fight was less successful. He slapped me so hard I was in a two week liquid diet, I couldn't eat. My jaw stood like this. Mm -hmm. But 
a viral video started from there. We got 17.6 million views before it got taken down. And then PowerStrap contacted me. And with that, Donnie hit the big time, fighting for Power Slap in the official American Slap Fighting League. He is currently ranked third worldwide in the super heavyweight division. And how has that been for you? Life changing. I've made more money in eight months, which I've made in 11 years of combat sports. Akira Marutsi may have been one of the first pioneers of slap fighting in South Africa, introducing it to Kahiso, west of Johannesburg, after seeing a match on social media four years ago. My first introduction was during COVID. Uh, then I was like, oh, this seems like something the township could appreciate. So I was like, hey, why not bring it here? You know, and ever since then, it's, it's been a crazy ride. Ahi roped in a small crowd to watch his first fight against his friend B.I.G., who's almost twice his size. B.I.G. slapped me, I went out of frame. Like you can see by the crowd's reaction that like something great had started. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm I'm push this and I'm gonna make this what it needs to be. And so Elite Slap Sports was born. In just a few years, it's drawn an impressive following with over 15 million views on some online videos. This to the hood is something else. It's something else. At Chicago's piano bar, the first slap fight is underway. Why are people so interested in watching people slap each other? My opinion, this is the only sport where you can go and watch for five minutes and you will definitely see a knockout. And everyone wants to see a knockout. doesn't matter what they say. They want to see a knockout. But if the aim of the game is to, to cause a knockout and essentially head injury, is it not barbaric? doesn't matter what you want to do. There's pros and cons towards everything. It's like smoking. It's bad for you. Yeah, but you do it. It's OK. So it's slap fight. I do it. And you watch it. So. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so right. Right. Let's go. Let's go. The early fight's done. It's time for Johan and Sean to face off. It's one, two. The first time in my life of slap fighting, I had a feeling that the basis rock my brain, my cop. Oh my ass, Sam. I think it's for a moment like my. Ik mag zien wat hij meer met ons is niet. Ik maar dat was waar het was. En ik heb amper niet gedacht. Ik ga die cover van hem van jou af. En ik zie dat ik het ons hier gemaakt met die eerste klap. Ik voel jammer voor je opponent, maar dit is dit is een sport en je gaat je gaat in voor de kill. Switch. It's evident that Johan is disorientated by the hit. Johan is bang for your volgende club. And that's what makes slap fighting as controversial as it is popular. A hard blow to the head can bounce the brain around inside the skull, causing injuries that can affect brain function. It's an injury sometimes seen in other contact sports like rugby. Concussion is a major concern in rugby, but the injury is usually unintentional. Slap fighting, however, is on a whole different playing field, where the intention is to cause head trauma. So we asked Dr. Rob Collins, the concussion physician for the Lions Rugby Company, to take a look at Johan's fight. He, he staggers there. If you stagger like that after a knock, then you don't qualify for a head injury assessment. You're removed from play immediately. That rugby player would not be allowed to play for the next 21 days. But it's the repeated untreated concussions that can cause irreversible brain damage. You get repeated bruises on the brain, you end up with scars. And scars affect the function of the brain. It's one, two, one. 
Johan flinches. He's disqualified. And Sean secures his first ever slap fight win. Do you have long-term health concerns? To be honest, no. I mean, I've been doing this for two years now. I've taken 11 blows to my head, which in my 11 years of combat sports, I'll probably take maybe a million blows to the head. But for me to be able to open it for South Africans, to compete abroad and to make a better life for my kids, I would definitely take that chance. Whether you think it's a sport or just a spectacle, its massive appeal is undeniable. There is no doubt of its dangers. But those who take part say, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Thanks for watching. Why not drop us a comment below? We love reading your opinions. Remember, you can now access Carte Blanche stories anytime, anywhere, even offline. Carte Blanche, the podcast, is now available on all major podcast platforms. So be sure to hit that follow or subscribe button and be part of our growing online family.